Welcome to Railway Legends, Myths, and Stories. I'm Kevin Stampley. As I said in our introductory episode, our title is a catch-all for things train-related. Today I will be going over some of our train spotting pictures. Not long ago, well actually about nine months ago as we recorded this, I went outside to look at the newly fallen snow outside our home. A passing freight stopped on the main line. It looked like one of the BNSF through freights that stop regularly here and exchange cars at our small local rail yard. Well, this was the load on the first set of cars behind the locomotives. This is a Stadler Flirt light rail vehicle, specifically a model GTW 2 stroke 6. This unit came through town on the 21st of February 2022 on its way from Stadler's Salt Lake City factory, headed for Redlands, California and their Aero transit project. This was the second of these trains we've seen. On the 20th of November 2021, we saw this one make its way past our home. Most light rail systems use overhead electric power, but on a handful of lines they make use of diesel-powered trains, also called diesel multiple units or DMUs. This is often done to cut initial cost so as to not have to put up overhead electric lines although typically it costs more in the long run because DMUs usually cost more to operate than those powered directly from electricity. For the projected Aero passenger service in Southern California, the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority has orders from Stadler for three diesel-powered units and one H22 hydrogen fuel cell-powered unit. There is also an option to purchase a further four hydrogen-powered train sets. Stadler is based in Switzerland. While the company has been building trains in Switzerland for 75 years, they have opened a factory in Salt Lake City that allows them to meet the United States Federal Transit Administration's Buy America rules. This operation runs between Redlands University and San Bernardino, California, where it connects with the Metrolink passenger train system with trains to Los Angeles. For more details on this operation, see the link in this episode's description. Okay, here are the specifications for the base diesel units. The trains are approximately 48 and a half meters long and between 3 and 3.1 meters wide. Each articulated train set has a total weight of about 68 metric tons. The trains operate on standard gauge track running on four four-wheel bogies or trucks. Each train has the capacity for 116 seated passengers and room for up to 120 standing passengers. Maximum speed is about 140 kilometers per hour. While the trains can be run in formations of up to four units, it looks like they will run as single units in Redlands. Initial testing was to begin in 2022. Another user of Stadler trains in California is the Bay Area Rapid Transit District known as BART. They are used on a standard gauge track where passengers from BART's broad gauge electrified lines transfer to an extension. BART has eight units with an option for up to six more. In Texas, there is the Denton County Transportation Authority. They have orders for 11 train sets for their 34-kilometer line running from Denton to Carrollton, southeast of Dallas, Texas. This operation has an option for up to 25 additional units. We hope you've enjoyed our bit of train spotting and perhaps we can bring you more of the offbeat loads that ride the rails. And as always, We'll see you on the train, whatever kind of train it is.